Hi everyone. I'm trying to get them to come on in. Hi everybody, can you hear me? Hi. Hello. <laughs> hi. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Good evening. How are you? I am good. How are you doing? Oh my god. Do we we need a, like a grand entrance or something, like something to sing, you know, something like all those Mozayon. <laughs> <laughs> you know those Mozayan music that would just be like gay, gay, you know? No, no, you don't need you don't need it. <laughs> ah no, we do. Good Are you kidding me? <laughs> Good evening. Oh my god. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for How are you doing? How is the family? We're very fine, thank you. We're very, we're very fine. Thank you. Yeah. What time what time is it right now? It's like nine PM. Yes, it's uh, it's not yeah, nine p.m. Nine p.m. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me just comment a little bit here before we get started. So, how is life in Nigeria? How how are you doing? How is the family? How's everybody doing? Pretty much. Um, we are fine actually. We're doing very well. God yeah. Knows. Okay. So how is how is how is COVID happening right now? Like, did you guys go to church? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, we went to church. Okay. And, um, uh, how do I put it now? In in Nigeria, it's a little different. In the sense that okay. I think for some reasons, there is a little bit of freedom. <laughs> okay. You know? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we respect, we respect the we respect the COVID rules. We respect yeah, okay. the all that. You know, but okay. still, you know. For example, if you come to Ibado, you will be surprised uh -huh. at the level of freedom you experience. So, I, 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 a friend of mine um, got back from US last week. Okay. And looked at me and said, Dami, you people don't have COVID here. Like, I like, know. <laughs> I know. Like, my <laughs> father in law is idea? in Ibado right now. And he always tells me, he's like, I don't know what you guys are experiencing in the US. There's no <laughs> COVID in Nigeria. I'm like, wait, <laughs> we, we are on lockdown though. Like, what's going on? <laughs> maybe, <I> it's the, <laughs> maybe it's the maybe it's the queen that will be. <laughs> is that, I, I don't even know. Maybe it's, maybe it's the first man prayer. Maybe it's the Agbo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, God has been faithful. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh my God. Okay, so before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Emole Ayo, and this is What's Your Story? Um, so this platform is pretty much to bring act, um, um, Christian artists, um, you know, like, like yourself, filmmakers, artists pretty much, you know, that can share with us, inspire us, you know, to do better, or use their story to inspire other people, pretty much. Um, so today we are having, you don't know, we don't need introductions, but I will do introductions. We are having Damilola Um I mean, these are the people that I personally grew up watching you guys. Like, not you, but you know, when, um, you know, like your dad, you know, especially with, um, what's, the, what's the first word? Agbaranla, Ishawuru, Ayamatanga. Yes. Yeah, That's yeah, what we grew yeah. up on. I mean, it's been so inspiring. I mean, it set the it set the bar so high for people like us. You know, like even us that were like we'll be watching, we'll be like running, we'll be like, ha, huh? hey, okay, let's go. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, thank God, thank God for your family. Your whole family is a blessing. Your whole family. You guys are blessed. Oh my goodness. Like yeah. I look at you, yeah. You this you guys are testaments to like obedience. Like if you follow what God yeah. actually placed in your heart to do, right. your children will reap of it. 
you mm -hmm. know so and we really do appreciate you guys like all the way from i think all over the world we all respect you guys we all appreciate you and like with the rolling of all these recent movies that are coming i'm like please i need to get that me here like today like <laughs> like we need to move him down like what's going on <laughs> uh -huh. i see, i saw you guys actually in 2019 when you came to king's throne um, uh, um in okay. houston texas i think one of one of our friends yeah invited us over to church that day we were new to houston at the time okay. and then someone was like my baby lawyer is in church today. I was like, what do you mean? Is it? We are telling me on the morning of Sunday. What do you mean is in church? Like, it just came early. <laughs> wow. No, what was, was this? 2019, was I think. I think it's 2019. 2019. That's yeah. A, that's King, King's Throne. Thing. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. No, you mean King's Palace. King's Palace. Yes. 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 King's Palace. I'm ter that's terrible. Terrible. That's terrible. Yes, that's, that's yes. Good. And I saw Evan Jarrett, like, Evan Jarrett, you know, right. yeah, 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 yeah. So I was that's like, I want to farm you. I wanted to farm you then. I was like, let me hold on to the hem of his garments. But I was like, no. I no. beg you. <laughs> we don't get hem. We don't forget <laughs> garments. <laughs> I was like, let me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> But thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, um, so your story today is going to inspire others, I believe, and I pray for I pray for that in Jesus' name. Um, yeah. So today, um, I was I was thinking about it. I was like, in a home like um, Mount Zion home, when you were growing up, like in a home like where your your parents were ministers. You know what I mean? Like, how did you? Did you just grow into being a good teenager? You know, some of us were not good teenagers. We we caught God, Jesus, later. Mm. We, were like, we were like, Jesus, we will catch you mm. later when we get there. We were not good sorry. teenagers. <laughs> so sorry. it's like, how did you how did you do it? Even with the pressure, I personally just believe that pastors' children are more exposed. You know, mm -hmm. like, especially when they are ministers, I believe that they are more exposed to, you know, other people, to judgment, to pressure. So how did you do it? How did you, how did you, what was, what, what was your teenage life like? Pretty yeah, much. So, like, well, I would say it's a typical teenage life. Uh, it's a little different from a pastor's, from uh, a pastor's children with faith, because for pastor's children, you know, it's, it's different. But like that, first of all, he's not a pastor, he's an evangelist. So, like, he goes everywhere. He doesn't mm -hmm. have a church. He doesn't have a church that he pastors. He, he goes about different places, different churches. So most of the time when we are young, we, most of the time he's always traveling. So we don't really we rarely see him stay at home. So and mm -hmm. anytime he travels like that, we feel I'll feel we feel down. We're like, oh you're traveling again, you know. Uh, so so it's always remember that if you remember back at the time, it's always like administration from one church to another. Stage ministrations. I don't know whether I've seen any of the stage productions ha, before. Ha, me. So always... I've found you since. <laughs> <laughs> so, so... The first one, I, I think I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the stage productions where you see um, angels on live stage, you see demons on live stage with um, charcoal and powder. With charcoal with and all those clothes. <laughs> And, ooh, and, then, and those demons are enough to scare children. But for me, it's always so exciting. I'm always looking forward to going, following him, you know, for stage administration, mm -hmm, stage production. Mm -hmm. It's always a great joy. Anytime, you know, he says, for some reason, the Holy Spirit just leads him for any reason. And he says, the family is going with him. Or he says, that me, follow me uh, for this administration. Man, I'm always excited. You know, that was, and yeah. particularly, I like to stay at the backstage where everything is where the drama is, where the preparation is, where the makeup, the demons, and everything. I'm always looking forward, to, I'm always looking at them. You know, so most of my friends, anytime they see these productions, they'll be like, Ah, damn it, you saw demon on stage. But I know that is not demon. That demon is actually <laughs> that's, that's but that's but that's something. Uncle, <laughs> but I Jerry, that's but I Jerry, I do. So I'll be like, Yeah, that demon is my uncle. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling fly, feeling happy. Feeling excited, yeah. I know some. Yeah. I have some other G uh, connections that you people don't know. So, so for us, it's always <laughs> an excitement to always follow that on stage. But most okay. times, it's not the case. It's not so. You know, it's not challenging. Yeah. At home mm -hmm. and just you know stay with our grandma. Our grandmother was the one staying with us then. Oh, you know, I so see. Okay. Yeah, so then we will start, we will down. 
then anytime it comes back, excitement, joy, and everything. You know? So that went on for a while. Um, so then, well, thank God for my parents. They, 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 they're kind of people. They're, um, they're not only, you know, there's some people who pay, they respect the call more than the family. You know, mm. God comes first. Are, yeah. My parents are people who they want to carry everyone along. They want to carry us along also. Mm. You may not be physically present on, on stage production, but you know, there's always this on the sign of the call and mm. the vision, ministry. Mm. You know, mm. there are times I thought, I was telling my wife the other day, I started fasting since I was two years. Two? She found out to believe. Two years, man. Yes, man. Two years, you know. Ah. And she found out to believe. Ah. <laughs> Some, you know, like, some of us, even right now, we'll be like, Jesus, please, <laughs> is there a way? What can we do? <laughs> can we come to pass us by? <laughs> can we come pass us by? You know, <laughs> you know, well, you know so, if you pass us yeah. like, since I was like two, my brother and I, brother, children in Monzan, because it's not just Babylon, you know, we are, of course, remember that yeah. day, the stage production, so there are so many guys and mommies with yes. children, and we're all together. Yes. Yes. So, what they do Pretty much the train, doing, yeah. Yeah, you know, the children. So, what we do, for fasting and prayer, almost every month, at least once a month, they gather us together, you know, we stay, mm. we sit down on the floor, we eat pap, pap and hmm. akara. Ugi. Ugi at akara. To make sense. You are there, you are there. Me, I have missed it first. It's okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, I can, uh, it's easy to break our fast, you know. Then, so we are always having an understanding of the call and everything. Mm. You know, I remember times when I think Joshua, I think Joshua had stole something because he couldn't, he couldn't take it anymore. Poor boy went to if the <laughs> went to the meat to start. I think he stole something. I think he stole right. ice. Or, they said there was a cake there. You have to eat. Mm. But the thing about him mm. is that anytime he eats, like he got, you think the fasting was here for him. He couldn't take it. We saw him in a film too. He was eating. So, I said, I said, Joshua, Joshua, we will meet him. I'm coming. I'm coming. So, Let's go. So he went to steal the food. Then you know when you leave the assembly of the righteous, and you went and you go to the kitchen and steal. That is not how your conscience will not fool you. Let's so say the next day. The, the yeah. first fruit of the people <laughs> are the one that will eat the first fruit. I mean, what they say it. <laughs> yeah, so, the next day, doing devotion, which has to confess. So, mommy, I've seen you, and I'm trying to keep confessing. Right? Oh. Start crying, crocodile tears. I've seen I stole meat. I stole cake. You know? So, the point is, we always had the understanding of the call. We mm. always have the understanding of the vision, the ministry. Mm. It's always exciting, even though that period was a wilderness period. You know, mm, even the fasting was mm. in that time. I, I, I later understood it was because of the fact, you know, you fast because of the situation around. Mm-hmm. When, you, when you have calculated your food, I think you, sometimes you should compare it to fast. When you calculated, okay, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And dinner. Mm-hmm. Can, let's shift it so that. So that let's shift to one. Yeah, so that, you know. Forget so it. That was, Forget maybe it. Maybe that was yes. what happened. Maybe that was what happened during that period because sometimes. Mm. God, they will not fast on <laughs> unnecessary fast. I <laughs> know. Just, oh my you know, so that was the, that was what well, I was going to that time. So we had a strong understanding of the call of the vision mm. and um, and yeah and that. But I got to a point in my life where I, I really I I really questioned myself. I think when I got to secondary school, yes, as one, I didn't. It was because it was then was like Daddy said it to fast, so I'm fasting. Mm. Daddy said to do this, so I'm doing it. So. You don't know the why. I didn't. Have, I didn't understand the why. I didn't. Have, I didn't have a sense of why I was doing what I was doing, mm, or a deep mm, mm, understanding mm. of what was making me do all those things. I'm just following orders, you know. Mm. You know. So I didn't even understand whether I had a talent or what my talent is, what my calling is, what what ministry really, really meant. I know the psychology of ministry. I understand the the uh, physical look of ministry, but mm. the, the, the depth, you know. I didn't you understand don't get that. This, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it. So I entered, I had bad influence, bad friends. I discarded my call. I started following hmm. we were friends and they started influencing my life. I started doing some things I couldn't do. Then I forgot completely about drama. I forgot completely hmm. about ministry. You know. Then I was in the body now, so you know, so I was Oh just, yeah. Oh, body now yeah. though. Okay. But you know, so I got back home and my parents took me as a ministry. Like hmm. like no, you this boy. God will change you, you know. God will change you. So what you know, did they so do? Did they beat you? Uh, because I know... Was, 
Oh yeah, the, yeah, the beating was there. The beating was there. I like the it. Patient, I love it. The patience, the patience was there. There was mm. a time, I'll tell you the story. When um I got back from school, you know, mm-hmm. because I was still feeling myself like a big boy now. Nobody should be sending me <laughs> and then he out. You know, ah, my, uh-uh. my mom my mom said me to go and grind pepper. Then I asked mm. myself, if if my friends see me grinding pepper, I mean what is the what <laughs> a very big boy like me? This is 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 an insult. What why should I grind pepper? Of all things to do. Of all things to do this life. If, if, I, if, me, if my parents told me, go and buy fuel. I mean, that was my uh-huh. question. My, uh-huh. friend, my friends will see me. So what are you doing? They will see I'm you. Buy, Fun. I'm buying fuel. <laughs> you know? But they tell me to go and grind pepper. And they didn't even, they said I should walk. You know, so I'm walking, <laughs> carrying cake. Do you mean, uh, uh, can you I know? be humble? It was too uh, emulating for me. You know, so I didn't I do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it well. And so my mom was angry. She said, Lord, mm. Lord, I how you will grind mm. this paper today? I said, I'm not grinding paper. You will grind this paper today. I'm not mm. grinding paper. Then it became a serious issue. It became mm. a fight. Then my dad was, you know, she told me to kneel down. I didn't kneel down. So you can't tell me to kneel down. Blah, 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 blah. I was, I was uh, there's what called parrying. That's arguing with my mom. I was arguing, arguing mom. yeah. You can't tell me to kneel down everything. My, mom, mm. my dad heard that. And for the first time, I've never seen my dad did me like that before. He removed yeah. belt. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. belt. You know? That belt used to be like, I used to see that, actually, since then I started seeing that belt in a different light. I hated that belt. But I used to like the belt. It's not my belt, but that belt became something It else. became a ministry. I just did the demon. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you move the belt. They said, Nilda, Nilda, plug oh me. Oh, my ah, goodness. Ah, ah, ah. Nilda, oh, my Nilda. God. So it was plugging me, plugging me. I got angry. I said, I'm sorry, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I won't get again. I'm sorry, so I ran upstairs. Good. They did myself. Good. I ran upstairs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I went to the toilet. I'm sorry. I shut the door. Bam. I locked the door. Hmm. I make sure it's locked. I said, you cannot beat me anyhow, man. You can't beat me. So I went to so my heart. You know, so after I shut the door, I was not. But later, the next day, I came downstairs and my dad called me. You know, I looked at me and he said, Dami, you know, I don't like beating you. I don't like beating you. And he held my yeah. hand and he said, I love you. I'm sorry. You know, that broke... All the defenses in me, I just started crying. I'm mm. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I started shedding tears. I started shedding I was crying. I was, you know, then, you know, mm. so I went to God and I prayed. I said, God, you know what? I'm proud of, you know, messing up all the time. You know, and it's because I don't really know you. I'm just following others. I want to really know you. I want to mm. So in that, in that moment, it was when, that was the turnaround for you. Yeah, in the washroom uh, or the yeah. after the not the washroom the washroom the I was situation. being not stubborn yeah. I was saying I don't care I don't get blah 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 mm. I was shouting I, said, I don't care you know in the, after I locked the door I became something else since I knew that nobody can enter the toilet since I've locked the door I was shouting <laughs> the next day I came down from mm. my room and my dad said those words like I love you I don't like beating you and everything but that Aww. kind of you know did something in me that that is you know that's there is a limit. Cain is very important. Cain will yes. allow the message to enter. Mm-hmm. Yes. But love will allow the message to sink in. You know, so the two and that like, was the only way Jesus could come and save yeah. us. It's through exactly. love. It's only when people preach about all this. And I'm not saying Jim Jim preaching because it's necessary. But okay, all this, just in preaching that somebody will hear you be afraid. Right? Mm. But the love of God is what is what separates bad preaching from the good ones, I would say. Yeah. So to say, mm-hmm. lack of a better word. But you know what I mean? Like the love of that love is what defines mm-hmm. it for you, you know? Like, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, I, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, God's love is what, the reason God's love is everything. It's yeah. Because of his love, he doesn't want anyone to die and perish and go to hell. Yes. Think, yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, so that's the reason why people preach that message of hell. To yeah. to, um, try to say, but the most important thing is people to understand the power of God's love. You know, I think yeah. you understand the depth of God's love, it will mm-hmm. hinder you from doing certain things. Yeah, you want no, to do right. certain things because you tell yeah. yourself, I'm not going to do this because God loves me. Yeah, because you know, God loves me. The depth, like, the power how of can God's I? Love. And if yeah. you love God so in think, return, then yeah. it's like, yes, it's almost like, exactly. how can I? How can I do something like this to someone I love? You know, somebody I said exactly. I love. You know, that exactly. love is so deep. And, and most of all, I think the message of Christ is very broad. 
<laughs> it's yeah. very good. You can't narrow God's message. You know, mm-hmm. particularly when God is mm-hmm. leading you to preach on certain things. And you can't say because, look, I want to talk about love when God is talking, telling you to talk about judgment. So I think the most important it's thing true. is following the it's leading true. of the Holy of the Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, so I think for me, that was the beginning of my turning point. I changed. Since then I said, yeah, at that point I started praying. I know there's someone in the Bible that says, ask and you shall receive, seek you shall find, yes. knock, yeah. and the door will be open. So it was from that point that things started changing in my life. I started, you know, having an understanding of my call. Thank you, Starting hearing God's voice, God, said, God was telling me, look, I want to use you even from your secondary school. You don't have to wait till you finish secondary school. I want to start using you now. Mm. You know, so mm. I started drama group in secondary school. So I started drama group in secondary school, and that was how my That's ministry amazing. started. And I started, you know, hearing God's direction and God's leading. So you actually me. started in in secondary school? Yes, I started my ministry. Wow. So what school was this? That was our um, um, farms, everybody that went to your school. Like, only time I found Pap Sixth Modern School. That's where my husband went to school. Hey! Are you, sure? ah, you people, I you people! Oh God, I wish the other was the one interviewing. We'd have, we'd have, we'd have been singing only time I found Anthem now. Husband, come and sing, come and sing, please. Don't let us do this here. Don't let us do this here. Husband, come! <laughs> ah, oh my god, that's amazing. I mean everybody talks so high of it, but I can't hear enough of it. I grew up I grew up in Lagos. Everybody, okay, okay. Yeah. Dummy. Okay. Okay, we got it. It's okay. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> you know, the national anthem is here. I'm so tempted to sing it. Sing it. Self-control. Oh, yeah, sing it. No, self-control. 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 That means self-control. This is a this is a national international. <laughs> <laughs> self control, self control. I, I love, I love your story. Oh my goodness, I love I'm that story. I'm actually it on the chat. Can you imagine? Someone was, uh, uh, you put a fans in yourselves. I was in my own. I was in Legacy High School. Uh, you I was sing it. Calm down, you Danny, people. Calm down. You calm people. <laughs> 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 oh my god okay so now it, i had a lot of questions like the moment yeah. i said i was bringing damilola mike bamiloye yeah. everybody in in the whole of houston texas eh, and nigeria plus <laughs> plus the world let's come down to that he's a few fellowship members that, that, that are talking about the whole of texas may god uh, not make our well, well necessary <laughs> Amen. Fellowship members, where Amen. are you? Amen. All of us are talking about. Ah, my brother, you don't know the edges. Yeah. They were there. Everybody, so, they, so. Ah, yeah. they said they had questions. Uh, I said, no, me. I'm just going to ask my own question first. After I asked my question, the all of you that have questions, put it in the chat if you want me to ask any questions. But I said I was going to ask you a few questions. Um, okay. So people said I should ask you about Abedjoye. I should ask okay. you about abateur. I should ask yeah. you about casting. Some people are really fighting yourself right now. You don't even know. Uh-huh. Some people say you don't want, you don't cast them in a film. Some people have said, how do you even cast self? They can act. They be acting since they were in their mother's womb. So please, let's talk about film a little bit. Right, cool. Okay, let's talk about film. So how do you do your casting? How do you uh, do? How do you do your call. casting? What do you what do, what steps do you go through? What process? Our, our casting basically is um, very spiritual. We cast based on the leading of the Holy Spirit. We don't just yes. cast based on. Yes. We don't even cast based on professional professionalism or how good you are in acting. Yes. That's not the basis yes. for us because um, we are ministry now. Mm-hmm. Now you know the messenger that will pass the message matters, and mm-hmm. God must have mm-hmm. a say in who is going to use to pass across the message. That's how impactful the overall message is going to be. You know, if you cast mm-hmm. based on wisdom yes. and you leave God out of it, then you might be doing the message with great damage. But if you surrender yeah. to God, because mm-hmm. if you allow God, because God gives you the message for us, God gives the message, God gives the inspiration. And if God gives the inspiration, and He must anoint the messenger. He must Amen. appoint yes. and anoint yes. the messenger that is going to use to pass across the message. Yes. You know, so, yes. of course, you, the other factors like the Mondrian Institute, you know, people who come to Mondrian Institute, you see them, recognize them, and so you guys are good for this brother that, that should be tapped into. And 
you know, uh, but there are some people that have not even come to Mozambique school that and they, they found them in movies. You know. so yes, yes. Like a sister, I'll it's tell you a story, like a sister, in mm-hmm. all my first films, my early, my earliest film, um, I don't know where I've seen Tuwajomi, it's an old film. Tuwajomi, Which one? Tuwajomi. Tuwajomi? Um, okay, old, no. It's I an old film. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a sister that's going to act a role. Very technical and very important role. And we've been looking around for who's going to act that role. We don't know. So I was just mm. working in the school that day. I was, the school was produced. That was my, I, the, the film was produced when I was in university, both, um, mm-hmm. born in university. And so I was just, after drama meeting, I was just working. I was walking and I saw, I saw this sister just coming. Maybe she passed me, I just dragged down. I said, you are the sister of the sister. You are the sister. It's me because I just, mm. immediately there was a connection. She, I've never seen her act before. I don't really know her. She, she, mm. she, she just comes to the drama group and she just stays there. She just, you know, she sits at the back, very quiet. But mm. I knew she was the one. I just, you know, so from out, but I'm in the, in the, one, I'm in the process of shooting the movie. Oh man, we felt God's hand. There was a time the sister had to break down in tears and she was crying because she was so inspired by the movie. It's like God was revealing mm. her life to mm. her. So she was so heavily impacted by the anointing and she just broke down in tears. So it was like that kind mm. of experience. And, it's one of, and a lot of experience, like the thinking you won't ask for actress in Abedoye. I was gonna ask you. Knows her, thinking you. I was gonna ask you. I, you. I was like, a story. Kiki you is, is the most impressed actress for me in the whole yeah. of Abejoye. Yeah. And I know daddy yeah. and mommy, you know, mommy, daddy and mommy have been acting since mm-hmm. I am Agbarala. We know them. We know the capability. We understand. Mm-hmm. But you see Kiki New, I don't know. I have a clip here actually that I was going to show you. But anyway, we'll, we'll come back to it. Kiki mm-hmm. New's acting is so divine. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to say it. Like, it's so divine. It's like when she fell down and she started speaking in tongues. I thought that part was so, so like... Yeah, she was so into the character. Like she, she came prepared. Like she was like a messenger ready to deliver the message. And you know the funniest thing about her? I've never seen her act a main role before, a major role. She's always really? acting like her past. Always acting like really? Sometimes the camera will not even reveal her. She's been on set for <laughs> she's been coming on locations for 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 years now. For years, just coming on set. What? And anytime there's a crowd scene, she will feature. There's a crowd scene, she will come. No one knows that she has it now. Then and she was will, preparing. That's um, why it's good. You people, if they, if I give you an extra role, come prepared. You don't you know. know about exactly. Some people chase. Some people chase stardom. You know. And when you chase stardom, you limit God from using you because it's not about you being the star. True. God true, is the star. True. God is the one you are projecting. You are just Hallelujah. a minister. Yes. You know? yes. So when you say minister, look at that. Minister. Minister. So you're a mini. You are you're a mini. So you are a minister. <laughs> you know? So you are, you are projecting God. God is the one yes. you are projecting. Yes. You are projecting Jesus. Yes. You know? So, yes. But when you now take the place of God and form the star, that's what they do in the world. You know? In the world, that the celebrity status and everything gets to their head and they feel like the are part of Jesus. and everything. Yeah. This is dangerous. They're taking the place of God. They're taking the place of the star. Like God is the star himself. You are supposed to protect yeah. God. I think it's all yeah. about God. You know? Yeah. So if God sees a heart that is willing and ready and ready to do anything for him, even as an extra, God himself will bring up that person. That's what God did for Kiki. Yes. God brought her yes. up and made her shine out. Um, because it seems no. that this is the ready verse uh. This is an able person. So I think that's that's for me. We didn't just that's about casting basically. Mm, mm. Um I so I have a clip here. So as a as a film director myself, I saw this clip mm. and I was like, what was going on in Dami's mind? Like, mm. what happened? <laughs> because I, I love to learn. I I love to learn. You know what I mean? So when I see a shot. I'm one of those people that will just go and write it down somewhere. I have a book full of shots, you know. So I'll, I'll go and write it down somewhere. Like, a note to myself: If you want to shoot a flower, know how to shoot a flower, please. Don't come and shoot any <laughs> flower. <laughs> I'm one of those people, you know. As, as much as I'm very that's, spiritual, that's, that's, I'm very that's technical that's, too, you know. So I'll show you this clip. I don't know if you will play it now, but I'll show it to you. Um, okay, I it. downloaded it actually. Let okay. me see. Um, hopefully it shows up because <laughs> that will pay me if it doesn't. Hmm. Um, 
I think it was this one. Can you see this? Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. Can you see it? Okay. Okay, I'm not sure if this clicks though. I show you this clip where you um I think I know the picture you're talking about, but I don't think it's this one. Okay, so um there is this there is one that you used to establish that is short. Yeah, in I know it's Abe, the one that I part four. I think was it season, season four? Was season it four was it one. season four? Season four part one. That's the because yeah, yeah. The one when Daddy came the back home. Yeah, the situation of Abe Joy. Where he was reading the Bible, I was reading Psalm twenty. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was yeah, like, the <laughs> please, what that's were you? What was going through? What was going through your mind when you decided that that was the sh that was the best way to introduce Daddy? Because I thought that was actually the best way. Yeah. to introduce that in, yeah uh, what was going through okay. your mind at the time so okay uh, so what happened was i read the script and okay. originally in the script the way abadjay was supposed to be introduced was normally was supposed to be introduced okay. normally like um the daughter came to see him and said she's going normally abadjay was like let me see your time that's it and i'm like ah is that all this is not how the others want to perceive abadjay like abadjay hmm. introduced in a different way you know so i had it Pend down. That's what this is what I'm. This is what I was going to do. This idea just like flooded in my mind. I had it pen down. You know? So in the process of shooting, I went to meet that. I said, Dad, I think we should introduce Abedjay in a special way because people have been looking forward to Abedjay. So many things have happened before Abedjay. So we're like, where's the guy? Where's our guy? Where's our man? Where's our man? What's so happening? It's, it's not going to. Be, it's going to be. It's not going to be. Get girl, if we introduce Abedjay, you know, just the normal guy. Just, just Abedjay, yeah. Somebody, yeah. So that's introduced in a very different way, and that that um, you know brought out the idea of just um, introducing the house. I mean, because that's the first time yeah. I've been the house. But we've always established in America. And yeah. That, that. Now he's in yeah. Nigeria, so it's like idea. Let's introduce it to the kitchen room, introduce the house, introduce some aesthetics, introduce some figurines and all that. Then yeah. we come to the room. Then we see Abed backing us. You know, when backing us, just like something mystical about you know when you when the character backs the camera. And the camera tracking. So and was he was, was he talking, talking at that time? But no, you recorded was, his voice separately, I'm guessing. Yeah, the voice was separate. He was talking at that, but the voice was separate and it overlaid. Yeah. Overlaid. Yeah. Because, yeah. The, because the lighting, the also the lighting. lighting. Yeah, because Hi. the lighting. You see, yeah, a good uh, student, I will learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the lighting needed to tell the story. You know. Okay. So we wanted the lighting that is as natural as possible, and also something. That tells the story. You know, so what we did uh, is imagine, imagine, look at that scene very well. Look at the scene the light was coming from. Outside. People are asking. People are asking me to show the scene. Let me let okay. me see if I can find it. Um, yeah, the beginning actually. It's I downloaded it for sure. Yeah, this 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 other one. I think it was this one. Let me. No, it's not this one. Yeah, this is it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. No, but we can't get the voice, the audio well, but... Oh, you it. can't get the audio. Okay, yeah, there's no okay, point. but that's it. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's, so the, that's, that's the, the clip for people asking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Because light, lighting, lighting for me does two things. Lighting is from, number one, to tell the story. Number yes. two, and the least thing you should do is to actually eliminate the, audio, the, the visual. The most important yes. thing you should do is to tell the story. You know, mm -hmm. so that when without the audience, without the character even talking, people can understand what is going on. So from that yes. lighting in the room, the depiction is basically that Abedjo is surrounded with, by gross darkness, and the only light is coming from above. You know, so that was why we um, make sure the room is not lit from inside. The only light is coming from outside, flushed inside. We so said that even in the midst of the darkness, the light of Christ will still penetrate the darkness. Yes. You know, just yes. to show that, and it was flooding directly on Abedjo. So the day was like in the mid of it. It was in between the light, surrounded by the darkness and everything. And so he was relaxed yeah. by himself. Yeah. And so I thought that he had to do. So I was 
kind of voice. That was just, you know, some of my dad is that like, anytime I have an idea and everything, every time Joshua has an idea, he just mm. leaves it and I let go. Oh, really? Like, you know, that's amazing. Like, you this boy, just do your thing. You see, I want you more to do Yeah, just, just do your thing. Just, you know, so, <laughs> yeah, just follow that. I have, decided like that, that, so. I have decided that daddy will adopt me. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I have decided. It's my decision. Yeah. So, please. <laughs> I've said that. Me, I don't know where I will fit in, but I will fit in somewhere. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, yeah, but that's the, amazing. The trick, the, trick, yeah. the trick to that thing, though, why the light with that definition is that we apply a little fog. And we just fog the room. A fog machine. We just fog the room. Oh, just really? Leave. Okay, I didn't notice so that, that one. I need to yeah, do more. That's more. why the light has definition. Otherwise, we just... That won't be definitely like. Yes, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. So, and I know Abejoye, the way Abejoye was right now, it changed a lot of people's minds, like like mm -hmm. people's lives. So, is there a testimony that you can share with us right now that encouraged you guys, even on set, that mm -hmm. while you were shooting, um, that encouraged you guys on set to, ah. that you can tell from the testimony, like because even for us that saw it. Our lives in not the same again. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, they're so is there any test? Mm -hmm. on set, is there a distinct one set, that you have that you know? You know, out of set, you know, after the film came on YouTube, a lot of testimony to the glory of God. I know a brother who's a secular artist called me and said, Danny, uh, I be devoted to Jesus now because I watched the glory. The thing where That's he good. was speaking in tongues, God to me, I started speaking in tongues to you. That's I, good. I was breaking yeah. down with tears and everything. You know, it's very overwhelming. I just say to God be the glory because this only God can do something. Yes. So it's part, it's part of the thing that the mm -hmm. beyond entertainment now, you know. Yes. And I'm grateful to God that people now, a lot of people are now related to Christian things. I say, look, Christian things is not just about entertainment, it's about ministry. You know, but Dami, what are you doing? But Dami, 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 I feel like the moment you stepped in, I'll rephrase that. Before you stepped in, lives have been changed. But there's more uniqueness that you brought to Mount Zion yeah. that young folks like us could relate. Is there's that uniqueness? That's eh, that's mm. when I see Dami. It's movie. I know that it's Dami that directed it, read, wrote it, edited it. Um, and Joshua put music. I know. Me. I know. Me. I'm a watcher. I, but, okay. <laughs> when I see... When Abejoy first came out, like season one and all of that, I was like, this is daddy. Do you understand? Mm. Because you can tell from the, from the writing, from everything, that this is daddy. But there's one uniqueness, one grace that you brought. That okay. I'll be like, okay, the person that... The person that is shooting this thing has he has mind. Apart from the mind of Jesus, he has, he has mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you know yeah. the matter is the truth of the matter is number one, um I thank God to be honest because that is what is meant to be. Like thank God for the grace of our parents. But um, the joy of our fathers is that we take up the mantle and run faster. You know. Yes. That's the joy. That's the joy father. of them. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just only me. There are other guys. Guys. Uh, there are other young Jama, uh, Hebrew body Jama minister. Look, I'm just a, a face that people see. You know, yes. Yes. YouTube channel and everything. Yes. But if you but come on set, God, I mean, we have to need the come, face, if, yeah. you, if you if you come on set and see us walking on set, you know that it's beyond that because there are a lot of our guys, a lot of young guys. I want to come on set. Making mm -hmm. sure this thing works out. Okay? Sometimes I get tired. And mm. My friends will come, my brothers, I'll call them friends. My brothers will come and say, let's do this, let's, let's make it work. Then community. Again, try again. You know, most of the output you see, the professional touch you see. Yes. So it comes from Joshua yes. too. It comes from Joshua's end. You know, after we yes. work, work, work on yes. set and labor on yeah. set and everything, yeah. it just dumps everything on the table and it takes over again and it tries to put in his own creativity. You know, so it's a team effort. No, it's, it's it is the effort. community, it's, yeah. You can't do it alone as a as a as a drama yes, minister or as a yeah. You do that alone, yeah. you see yourself. You yes. know, so uh, yes. I won't say it, I won't <laughs> say I have really it's about me or it, I'll say it, it's, it's God has given us the best thing. Thank God. So thank you, Jesus. Of people. Well look, I was in church, then one of the guys that I used to work, I called him my brother, one of my brothers used to work with me on set, you know, my assistant director. 
He comes to me, when is shooting next now? When are we going to shoot again? I said, I'm shooting February 15. February 15, 15 is too far. Man, I'm, I'm, this is my life. I like what people like that. You know, so because people with this guy they don't work for money. This is their life. This is our life. Hmm. This is what we sold out for, you know. And when you work with people who are completely sold, leave everything, passionate. left who everything, sold out. left the education, left everything, and are sold out to God, what else do you expect? You know, yes, so I say people yes. just see me and they see the face. But there are a lot of yeah. guys who have left everything and they just sold out to God. Yes, so yes, I, I agree. Give, I give credit to, I give um, kudos to guys I do. So my friend was like, February 15 is too far. Let's work again. Like, and we just finished one location last week. We finished Abattoir season mm. five and six, episode five and six. We just finished shooting it last week. This last week, yeah. this last week starts. This is like Sunday, yeah. I'm telling you, that was when we finished shooting, you know. And so mm. I, I was I still everybody to rest and all, but he's already ready to go, you know. Because mm. when we finished, I even felt sick at a point, you know, but yeah, yeah. he doesn't care. He's ready to go because it's his life. You know, these are people I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Abatio. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I love about see when about your finish there, <laughs> the last season. Me, I was I was angry in the spirit. I was like, wait, how can you how can you leave us like that? Kiloshele, what did we do wrong? Kiloshe. <laughs> 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 but I saw since the I saw the season two just came out and I saw the episode yeah. one. I've, actually, episode two came out today, right? Yeah. So yeah, so I'm supposed to watch that one. Anyway, I'm not there yet. I'll get there. But how did you... Did you direct that one as well? Yes, I, I did. I got so how did you act and direct? Because some of mm. us, we can't do both of them at the same time. I, I need to do mm. what? <laughs> I can only yes, do one. Because that's difficult. It's, it's exactly. If you are starting out, don't try it yet. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. You can mess things up. Because it can be yeah. emotionally draining. You know, yes. you try to enter into character, but at the same time, you're trying to work out someone else's character. Then, besides working out versus character, you're working at the old frame, the old setup of the old film, and is everything all set? Then, the camera crew of making sure that technically they're getting it. Sometimes, you want to handle the camera yourself, and you know. But for me, <laughs> okay, what has helped me actually is because of the, you know, sometimes when I see, when I call some cast on set, and I tried this abattoir and I see them as, as, as a director very few times I say, let's do this way, let's do that way. Most times I'm always blessed by their actors, right? Because they're professional actors, mm. great actors, people who are completely sold out, they know what they're doing, they're not just trying to waste time. Like the man I said, I said about that bureau, oh my God, he poured his all into the character. He poured yes. his being, everything yes. into the character. Man. So now my one is coming on set, is that like you're doing two things? Either you're not. They are not going to teach him to act, but you have to see. You are going to coach him to act. You can't teach him to act. He's a fantastic hmm. actor. You can just coach him and say, Daddy, let's step it down a little bit. Because it's a little bit hmm. too said, Yeah, let's bring it down a little bit. Just buy your voice here. Yeah, just, you know, or oh, Daddy, can just stand up at this point, sit down at this point. And he does it. He takes over. Because those people, they've soaked into the character yes, completely. Yes. And they know the character more than you do. That there was mm. a time, um, I call him Daddy K now, then Carl the Wood, the way the accent, so yeah. He yes. understands his character so well that sometimes he has to coach me that, look, my character cannot do this because as the uh, person that I am, order, first in rank, order of the secrets here, I'm expected to do this. And so he understands his character. So people like that, sometimes I can't teach them. I can only coach them. And sometimes I can only give ideas because it's theirs already. They've owned it already. They deliver, you know. So that helped me a lot in the sense that I don't teach them how to act. I don't teach, I, don't, I have to teach not anyone how to act in that. Mm -hmm, I just, mm -hmm. Sometimes I go on set and I'm watching them and I'm blessed already by the way they deliver yeah. their life. Yeah. Like, I feel like help. every Christian, everybody, mm -hmm. every Christian need a Baba Bero in their life. The, <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> We need, <laughs> we need a Baba Bero because we need that person that will be like awake. Because sometimes you get carried away with the issues yeah. of life. You get carried yeah. away, you know. Yeah. And yeah. maybe sometimes yeah. you are too comfortable. You know, sometimes yeah. you take God for granted. Your mm -hmm. familiarity wants to bring, you know, be like, mm -hmm. it's not Jesus. We talked this morning. Mm -hmm. We talked yesterday. Right, you, know? Right, right. You, you know, but someone that is always in the spirit, like, yeah, will after, bring you back. Better. Right, we need, we, all, we need a mentor as youth now. We need, we need, we need a mentor. 
you know, someone who start, they still believe that old time religion. Who can call you to order when you are too fast? I say, yes. step down, son. Step down. down, like, <laughs> and you are not even born in enough. Born. Yeah. You are not doing this. Time, someone I can tell you that. that someone I can tell you that you are going too far. Come down. Come, come back. Come and retreat. Just come and retreat. Then go ahead and move again. You know, because it's possible as we used to be on fire, on fire, on fire, and burn out completely, and you don't know when your charge, your, your battery level is completely. Battery is low. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's true. It's true. It's anyway, true. So, so that's that's what helped me in set. So I, sometimes again, I when I'm not acting, I'm handling the camera. I just enjoy handling camera and looking at it for my looking at these pictures. I get more involved. And when I'm acting, I have a director, an assistant who helps in direct. Okay, me. that's good. I give okay. him the responsibility. So he don't direct me. Please direct me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's how Direct it is. me. Direct me. Okay, that's good. So I wanted to ask you on the train. So we'll be going back and forth, but the train. Um, because there's so many people that you used for the train. And I know that mm. there are older people too that you used to direct, especially when you're the DP, you have to kind of tell them what to do. So yeah. how do you, how do you do that? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, how do you do mm -hmm. that in terms of like, how do you communicate to them? Especially like these older folks sometimes, maybe some things that you will say that mm -hmm. they may not understand it because of the way you said it, you know, like, how do you tell them that, that this is what you should do or disagree with them and say, no, this is what we are doing. You know, how mm -hmm. do you do that? In a respectful mm -hmm. manner, of course, but how do you do that? I think um, that in directing, directing, it comes with wisdom. You know, sometimes you need to yeah. completely be sold out to God's wisdom and allow God's wisdom to take control. So that you, it's not so it's only flesh directing. Yes. You know, because a director, you should be able to read the temperature, the spiritual temperature of an environment. Yeah. You know, not just for screen sake. Don't just get yes. carried away by the screen. That you forget mm -hmm. the spiritual principle, the spiritual atmosphere of a place. Oh, uh, yes. that's why you need to be spiritually discerning as a director. So it's all encompassing. You are a spiritual, yes. you are a director. You are also, God is looking at you as the one in charge at that moment, you know. So there are times when you need to just stop and pray. So that you will mm. not be kind of, when God says uh, this. That's why you need to know when an environment is suitable to work. And an environment mm. is not suitable to work, you know. I'll give an instance where we're shooting a Bajoyo, you know, um, mm -hmm. that, that is, the scene that has to do with speaking in tongues, speaking in speaking in tongues, and the monster appearing and all that. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. in <laughs> with the technicality of everything, setting the lights, blah, 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 getting light and set, everything. And we were shooting for like three days there about that particular stage. So it was going to like third day, and I was looking at time, I wanted to just continue shooting. It was late, everybody was, it was late in the night, everybody was very tired, all of a sudden, where did I to come down to the to give us the shot, to go ahead to shoot, and I was waiting mm -hmm. for him, and he didn't come down on time, but finally he came down, and he said everybody to stop what we are doing, drop the camera, it's time to pray, Please let to pray, so we started praying, and praying, and praying, and praying, and we didn't shoot that day, you know, we finished shooting that day. I, it shows that, look, it's not wow. just, and that scene so is sensitive. Adds so much impact at the end of the day. Yes. The people watching it outside. So it was like what we are cooking in that room is not just entertainment, but we are, you know, concocting a spiritual warfare that will yeah. travel later in future and make impact to the lives of so many people. But before that can happen, we need to play on that scene. We need to soak that scene. We need to bless that scene so that when people watch it, the experience will be different. And indeed, mm. the experience for me when just watching that scene was different. <laughs> it was different, you know? yes. So it shows the spiritual preparation before going on set. So as a director, you're not just a physical director, or just a dramatic director. Mm. You're also a spiritual mm. director in your environment. So that's the question. How I you know, talk to the people, talk to my fathers on set. I talk to them like a son. Like, ah, daddy, let this be this way. You, got, you don't have to shout if you are directing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, say, I want it done this way. Put this right there. Put this. You are the director. We know you are the director. Sometimes you go to calm down. You know, go to people, go to the actors. And sometimes, you know, mm. if, if, if you're not careful, instead of helping people, you're just, you know, mm. breaking their spirit. You need to be careful mm. how you, you know, talk to your actors. Sometimes you need to go to them and whisper and say, sir, 
Can you just feel this way? Can you just stop? Can you just feel this way? That is a little exaggerated. Can you just come down a little bit? Turn it down a little bit. It's a little bit like stage drama. Let's be like stage. You have to react to it. So you talk to mm-hmm. them normally. You know, go to them. We start one on one. You have to be shouting. Like, hey, I know one of these bad this directors. They are mature people. They will understand. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a small mm-hmm. boy directing them, they pay attention to because they're a professional actor, actually. You must learn to listen to the voice of the director, mm-hmm, whether the director mm-hmm. is, even if the director mm-hmm. is a little boy, you still have to come down and listen. Hmm. Okay, so, I mean, what time is it? Before I will be keeping you here, before, they will come and carry you. Um, All right, they will come and carry you. <laughs> My dad will have to come and carry you. <laughs> they have to come and carry you. <laughs> okay, so for final notes, so what would be your advice for Christians out there? I mean, I saw the 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 prayer that Daddy prayed. Not in the beginning. There's this other prayer, the one I was playing before, that Daddy yes, prayed. Yes, yes. That prayer, though, mm. I think that prayer is what the, the kind of prayer that we all should be praying every morning. When we wake up, we'll be like, as I'm going today, Lord, please go with me. Anything I say, mm. Father, please let them mm. hear me. You know, things mm. like that. Like, God, as I speak, you know how Paul spoke in the Bible? I think it was in Ephesians, mm. when he was saying that, Feel mm-hmm. my mouth. I don't want to speak. I don't. I don't want people to hear me. Let them hear mm-hmm. you, Lord. You know, mm-hmm. things like that. So, that kind of prayer is the kind of prayer that I feel like us as Christians, like standard. We should all just our head should just correct. We should know what we are praying. So, mm-hmm. you know. So, what advice would you give us as Christians? Because I don't see this as oh, filmmaking artist and this this is. We are ministers. We are we are ministering to people out there. So what 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 word of advice or what departing word? Would you, because I'm I'm still bringing you back. I'm still bringing you back. You're not departing. You're not going anywhere. But for now, let's say you are leaving us in the flesh for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but but okay. what word? Yeah. What 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 would be your advice for Christians as we're going? The youth, you know, the young okay. people, the older people. We yeah. Christians. What would be your advice as we're going right now? Um, first advice, I have to actually. The first advice is um, there's someone in the Bible that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and every other thing shall be added to you. I think right now we are in a time where the attention, the focus, the drive to seek other things is paramount. You know, we are so carried away by seeking other yeah. things and neglecting yeah. the kingdom of God. Yeah. For some of us, the kingdom of God looks like a perfect thing. You know, I mean, it's we have too to far. make money. We have to make money. We have to do this. We have to survive in this economy. If we don't survive, we are going to be crushed. So, the, so because of this survival, we've lost the essence of why we are living on earth in the first place. Mm. That is mm. to please God and to bring down His purpose in earth. To establish True. His purpose. Let the lecture will be done in earth and yeah. in heaven. You know, so that's the will of God in heaven that God wants to be established on earth. But because yeah. of our busyness and because of the pride in which we sometimes we neglect the will of God. Yeah. We seek other and things. We get distracted. And, neglect, yeah. and you know, they seek his first. Let, you know, and, and God is the God God is not afraid. God is not um, is not um, God God can give us everything. There is yes. nothing he can give us. He's yes. not he can't be limited. I think yes. the only thing that is limiting God is we ourselves. Because sometimes yes, I God agree. wants to bless mm-hmm. you. It looks at you whether you are capable of handling his blessing before he gives that blessing to you. Sometimes we pray for blessing, open doors, enlargement. But what, what if that enlargement will cross you? What if that open doors will cross you? Why? Because you're not taking time out to get loaded by seeking it's God's true. kingdom first. And it's that's true. very important. And my it's second true. advice is that for we, um, in the entertainment and entertainment sector, that's evangelism. And I like that sector. word. It's very, mm-hmm. very, very important that we keep working, keep working. You know, when we start working, the idea we have, the vision we have, is to be heard all over the world. That people all over the world will see something on YouTube. Millions of people will see it, but sometimes we look on YouTube. Maybe five people get to watch it, ten people get to watch it, and we are discouraged. I'll say, you know what? I'm not doing this thing again. I'm not doing it again. You know, but, it's true. You know, if we keep working diligently, looking up to God, it doesn't take God anything. Just one thing that I'll open the door for you. If you're into music, I'm saying into music ministration and everything, it's just one song that will blast the door open. That every other song you sang will not be committed. Mm. But it takes yeah, you to be consistent yeah, yeah. 
with what God has placed in your head. Mm, Thank mm, you, because so when you are true. consistent, you will build a track record so that when the time of your open doors come and bam, the door is open, everybody flushes to your page and say, let's see what she has done. They have something to look at back to. Oh, she has done a lot in the past and what they're saying this. But imagine because you did one and that one wasn't a hit. And because of that, you say, I'm not doing it again. Or let's say you even did sure. one and that one became a hit and people enter your YouTube channel. And let's see what she has done. Oh, she has just done only one. Yeah, not done. Just What's one. Point? Just one. <laughs> But imagine you've done several and you just keep doing. You just keep doing faithfulness to God. Be faithful. Going in the secret. Be giving to God in the secret. Obeying God's voice in the secret. You know, that suddenly the open doors happen. People enter into your world and they see that you've done. You enter into your world and you see you've done so many things. You know, mm, so that's why there's power in consistency. Yeah. 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 There is power in consistency. Oh my goodness. Wow. I've learned so much. I'm going to watch this video again. So I suggest everybody watch this video again. Uh -huh. Let me advise you. Watch this again. I'm going to post it. So you guys should watch it again. I just want to say thank you. So before you go, I want to commit. I want you to be committed right now. So when next are you coming to US? When next are you coming to UC Texas? When? Honestly, I've missed I've um, missed. I've missed. I'm fancy you. When next are you coming? Where are you? We are fans. I said, I will carry baby Gloria like this. I will carry her like this. I'm like, I'm like, Gloria, come here. <laughs> my God's grace, when all this is over, when this good thing is over, my God's grace, yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank so, you. because, and the reason why is this, let me tell you why I'm going to fans you the next time you come. <laughs> I've written a web series and I want you to help co direct it as well. Okay, ah, and it's, you are. Ah, you are, you are, it's the work of the Lord. It's the work of yes, the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. It's the work of the Lord. Work of the Lord. <laughs> and then we can. God bless you so much. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. I really do appreciate the time. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Let me thank your wife. Mm -hmm. Let me thank your. Let me thank Miss uh, Miss uh, Miss Gloria, our, our lovely Gloria. Let me thank wow. her. Let me thank everybody, even mommy and daddy. Let me thank everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you, you for me. honoring this, and everybody is appreciative. Everybody is saying thank you in the comment section. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you, for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, thank so please, if we call you next time, please, I will send you the script. <laughs> Damilola, I'm going to send you the script. <laughs> <laughs> we will do this. When it comes to Texas, of course, we will, we will eat or we will do all of that. We will fast self, but we will walk. <laughs> you are, let's see. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. 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 <laughs>